What's up fellow drivers? So today I'm adding some washer fluid to the MR2 right here. But we're gonna be talking mostly about a different kind of fluid, power steering fluid, and some misconceptions about the MR2 and the differences between electric power steering and hydraulic power steering. Disclaimer here, I'm not an engineer or a professional mechanic, but I just want to clear up uh, what I think some people might have as misconceptions and explain the basic facts about these different systems and the differences between them. So, a hydraulic system works by using a hydraulic pump that is powered by the engine of the car and it pumps fluid onto one side or the other when you turn the wheel to apply pressure in that direction. And that, of course, makes it easier to turn the wheel, especially if you're standing still or parking or turning under very low speed. Otherwise, with a fully manual rack, you would just be turning a gear directly on the steering rack uh, for the rack and pinion system. So some advantages to that system is that uh, most drivers feel that that gives the best uh, steering feel on a car as opposed to other power steering systems. Uh, some disadvantages are that it does rob power from the engine, so technically you're going to have less power going to the wheels. And it's a relatively complex system meaning that there are more opportunities for things to break. I mean, your pump can break, the seals on the rack can break. Uh, there's just more uh, bits and pieces to wear out. An electric power steering system uses an electric motor that is mounted directly to the steering rack. And that electric motor turns a gear that assists in the turning in the rack and pinion mechanism. It's important to note that there is still the same physical connection, or very similar anyway, of the steering wheel to the wheels, just like in a hydraulic power steering system. It's only the way that it is being assisted that is different. Some advantages of the electric power steering system are that it is very simple and there are fewer things to break. Another big advantage of it is that it does not rob power from the engine because it is being powered by an electric motor. The big disadvantage to the electric power steering system is that it is often criticized for providing very poor steering feel. Now, these systems have improved quite a bit in recent years, and the main reason why they probably have poor steering feel in most vehicles is that they suffer from limited research and development compared to the many years that hydraulic systems have had. type of power steering is drive by wire or specifically steer by wire. 
there's a fundamental difference between this and the other two types of systems. And that difference is the fact that there is no physical connection between the steering wheel and the wheels on the road. So your steering inputs would work similarly to that of a video game, where if you have a wheel or a controller, you, uh, you know, turn it a certain amount and it's programmed to then do something else. But there's no actual linkage or gears that is physically turning the wheels, assisted or otherwise. And don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Infinity tried this system on their Q50 and they've got a lot of flack for it, so they went to a hydraulic system. The potential advantages to a system like that are the fact that it is uh, physically very simple. So you have even fewer parts that could potentially break uh, it's very easy manufacturing, although I don't know how uh, that would be offset by uh, software development costs and that type of thing. Of course, the obvious disadvantage to that system is that if something goes wrong, you have literally no way of steering the car because your steering wheel isn't connected to anything. It would also be impossible for that type of system to give you any real feedback from the wheels. Now, potentially, uh, with enough development, they could program it to give whatever feedback you would be getting from a physical system through various sensors and that type of thing, but I don't know if at that point there'd be much point uh, as opposed to just having an actual physical connection. And frankly, I feel like that would just feel kind of lame. It's similar to how uh, some cars nowadays have engine or exhaust noise piped in to the sound system of the interior or pre-recorded engine noise. It's like, even though it might sound good, it's just kind of lame because it's fake. So now that we have established the basics of these three different types of power steering systems, I want to talk about some misconceptions about them that I think some people have. The first one is that I think some people confuse electrical power steering with drive-by wire. And they think that electrical power steering means that it is completely electronic and there isn't a physical connection. And as you know now, that is not true. Uh, it is a completely different type of system. But remember, it does have a physical connection, and drive-by wire is a completely different system where it's all software and there is no physical connection. And very few cars that I know of have an actual steer-by wire power steering. The other misconception that I wanna talk about is specific to the MR2. Now, some people say that the MR2 has electric power steering, and this is not really the case. However, I know why some people think that. The MR2 has kind of a unique system that a lot of other cars don't use. It is actually a hydraulic power steering system. The difference, or the unique thing about the MR2s, is that it is not powered by the engine. It is actually powered by a separate electric motor. However, that electric motor is still powering a hydraulic pump for a hydraulic power steering assist. It is not directly linked to the steering column through gears like an electric power steering system. So just to reiterate, the MR2's power steering is hydraulic. The only difference is that the hydraulic pump is powered by a separate electric motor as opposed to robbing power from the engine. And I'm sure if any of you guys are owners or if you've heard me talk about the steering in the MR2 before, it has excellent steering feedback and feel, especially if you have poly mounts. And as a side note, there are many things that can affect 
steering feel other than the type of power steering, such as the type of bushings that you use. I think I said mounts earlier, I meant bushings. Uh, and the design of the steering rack itself, tires, suspension, etc. So like I said, I didn't want to dive too far into the technical details of all the power steering systems, but hopefully that gave you a better understanding of the three different main types and what sets them apart. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you guys later.